Welcome back to Clay Pigeon for the Tuto Money Super 1 British Karting Championships. It's TKM Extreme up next. The man on pole is Simon Verko, and I just happened to speak to him earlier. Simon's second in the championship coming into this round. Uh, 19 points behind, something like that, is it? Yeah, that's right. Um, I think it's about 20 points behind, so it's not too far. So hopefully we're, uh, we're looking to gain a few points on him this weekend, um, if not take over the championship lead. And this track this weekend, is this one you know well? We've not been here at Super 1 for a few years. This is the first year back for some time. Is this a track you like? Yeah, I've done several thousand laps around this track um, in my 15 years of karting. So, um, yeah, it's, it's one of my local tracks, even though we're 150 miles away. Um, it is one that I know the best out of the series. OK, and you've been doing Super 1 for a long time now. What would it mean to you to just go that one step further from where you are now and be announced as the champion at the end of the year? Oh, I mean everything. Um, we've, been, we've been trying over the years to, to reach that point and through bad luck and um, other incidents, it's, it's not quite happened for us. So hopefully we can, we can pull it off this year. OK, well, good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Cheers. Well, they're all on slicks for the start. There is rain in the air, but it is dry for the moment. Verco and Letts on the front row. Newman and White on the second from Whittingham, Briley, Sprout, Allnut, Stockford and Witten. That's a really competitive top ten. It could go anybody's way. Wadley and the reigning champion Harry Moore are on the, the sixth row of the grid. Matthew Taylor, the O-plate, is down in P18. A few drivers from the back as well worth a look. John Hogan from P29 should be worth a punt. Here we go. Pedal to the metal and flat out to Billy's blind for the first time and into the first corner. A big tank snapper from the 11 of Verco, who somehow manages to keep the lead and actually gain himself a little bit of traction as we go through the S's for the first time. Everybody picking their way through. No contact. Certainly no argy bargy. And they go down towards Hans Herpin for the first time. There's a little bit more this time as everyone hustles their way through, trying to gain places if they can. Still a big squabble. To the left of your screen, you can see the runners and riders for 2017, and there's an incredibly talented bunch of racers, both of the male and female persuasion in this grid. Up at the front, though, Verco holds the advantage. Stephen Letts, the championship leader, is there in, I think that's is that sixth or seventh place. He's not had the best of starts, Stephen Letts. He's got it all to do now, but if anyone can, Letts can, and he's oh! already up the inside of the uh, two coal sprouts. Well, that is an amazing bit of uh, racing from Letts as he desperately tries to make up ground. Bit of a hassle there for the two as Kyle Spro tries to defend. Harry Moore, the reigning champion, is in there as well. This is how close it is in 2017. The likes of Moore and uh, Kyle Sprout are really struggling here at Clay Pigeon as everybody tries to move their way forward, but it's Verco who leads the way, having a good run in the lead of this race. Second position, 78, Peter Newman still trying to gain one up on him, and it's great battling. All the way down the train, you can see Harry Moore is fourth in the queue, led by Kyle Sprout as they try and work their way through. The third step of the podium currently being held by Lee Whittingham as he desperately tries to hang on in front of the 44 of Stephen Letts, who's up to fourth position now. Brilliant fighting through the Field as he's now in front of Joe Stockford in fifth. Wadley in sixth, then it's Sproke, Witten, Moore, Briley, Rosser, White, Fowler trying to move his way forward. Allnut is in 14th, and the O plate, Matt Taylor, is in 15th position. There goes Fowler having a look on the inside of, I think that's Rosser. Bradley White looks like he's made his way up into 11th position. White is going through the field dramatically here. I think he could make well into the top 10 by the end of this. Fowler makes his move on the inside. That's a very clean move indeed. So Fowler makes up one more. He's pushing his way through the field rapidly. I think there was some contact on the outside of the uh, S's there. Possibly. Fowler again! And Fowler makes another move. <laughs> That's three and three. He's just got through the 37 of Christian Braley and uh, Rosser goes with him. Fowler is on fire here. He is. We're not allowed to mention his name, apparently, Jake, because he hates these programmes with a passion. <laughs> well, he's going to fall in love with them today. Looking at how well he'll look back on this one. He's doing a cracking job, is Fowler, pushing his way forward. Oh, that's all nuts. That is Matthew Allnut. He won round two at Rissington, of course, and that is his day over. What a disaster. Former British Open champion Matthew Allnut had a great run at Rissington. You can see him in the background there. That's such a shame. Well, Fowler was having another look on the inside there down to Hans Hairpin. How many more can he pick off before this race is over? He's working his way through beautifully in the cold, uh, cold conditions here. Virgo's still out in front, though. 
leading comfortably and still a good battle as now we've got Lee Whittingham having closed right up on Peter Newman to try and go for second position. Letts is in there in fourth position still. Harry Moore now leading the chase in seventh position with that long train with the likes of Sprout, uh, Fowler, Rossa, et al. all trying to work their way further forward. Moore is there in seventh position. I think Fowler's now up to tenth position. He's doing a cracking job. Yeah, fastest man on the track at the moment as well is uh, Sam Fowler. 44 there, Stephen Letts, championship leader, trying to make his way through the carts in front. If anyone can, he certainly can. He's there in fifth place at the moment as they go through uh, the top bend. There's a back marker having to get out of the That's way. Matthew That's Matthew Allnut. That is Allnut, so he's got the cart going again. Uh, for how much longer? It's obviously a bit of an extended test session now for Arnold as Newman goes up the inside to take the lead and so nearly allowed the 50 to get him in the process. So Lee Whittingham very nearly got himself into the lead past both of them. But Newman is first. Up to second now comes Whittingham and trying to get through into third comes Stephen Letts. But that is not a move that is going to be acceptable in far, as far as Simon Virgo is concerned. He shuts the door before it even happens. Fowler, by the way, is up another place. He's up at the ninth position now. Great racing this all the way through. Stephen Letts in uh, P4 trying to move up into a podium paying position, trying to find a way past Verco. But watch out on your right, you've got Joe Stockford having a great run out of the final turn. Stockford's gone through. Stockford into P4 now. So Letts drops back down to fifth position just in front of the 98 of Lewis Wadley. Yeah, you didn't think this was going to be easy, Stephen Letts did. Yeah, still Newman out front. And it's uh, Verco on the 11 in behind. Lee Whittingham, the junior from last year. Doing well there in third place, and look at this, it's going to be 12 for 14. Carts battling for the lead here at any time soon. Absolutely incredible, and any one of them could win this. Now, where are the likes of Fowler? Fowler's now ahead of Harry Moore. So Fowler has put himself into, what's that? One, two, three, four, eighth position. So uh, Fowler is in a good position there. As Oh, the Virgo is going to be passed around the outside. Is he by Newman? Newman's got good grip right round the outside. Can he hold on to the place? No. Virgo has got the lead once more. So a great little tussle. And Stockford's trying to come through on the inside of Whittingham. But Whittingham goes through past Newman. Newman is going to get squeezed out here. Up into third position goes the 50. Uh, sorry, go through goes Stockford. What an amazing scrap. So difficult to keep up with. But now winning him in second. Stockford's through the third. And it's all Skittles further back as Fowler has now got more and Sprout. Uh, dropping back, Sprout actually moving up. Ross is trying to get in there as well. I'm losing the thread. It's really difficult to keep up with. As uh, back up the inside, the Jade Carts are starting to scrap. And onto the tail of the battle, onto the tail of the top six battle has come Bradley White. Bradley White's up in sixth position. He's working so beautifully. Junior champion from last year. So we got White, the junior champion from last year. Whittingham, who won the last round of the championship in the juniors uh, last year as well, competing here very favourably with the seniors. Great to see the juniors making the transition and doing so well. What a race this is. As usual, Jake, as usual, TKM delivers. Yeah, TKM Extreme is fantastic. And in junior level as well. It's up the inside. That's a move from Lewis Wadley. Wadley makes the move there on the inside of Rossa. So Wadley was in the top six earlier, trying to fight his way to get back there. But he's still got a queue cast. Look at the back of the queue. Fowler has joined the back of the queue. So now it's a seven-cart tussle for victory. Any one of these seven now could win it. And looking at the way he's gone through the field today, you'd be a little bit, uh, you'd be, you wouldn't be stupid to put money on Fowler to get himself on the podium here in seventh position, number seven, pushing his way further forward. There's plenty of drivers down the order as well, still squabbling who could make up a place or two. Fowler's going to go for White here. He's got a good run off the final turn. Can he move himself up into the top six? He's going to crack it as the rest of the field charges through. Matt Taylor, the O-plate, having a miserable day. And yes, look, Brad White's got through in a fifth position. Fowler's got through in a sixth. Newman down to seventh. Newman was leading it earlier on. Now down to seventh place. He'll be thinking, what is going on? I was leading this not long ago. But here's Fowler in sixth place now. He is definitely the fastest man on the track but can he convert six into first? He's close enough now. Well, Rossa is leading the back, uh, they're leading the queue behind this lot for eighth position. Wadley now down to ninth position. And that looks to me like Spro just in the top 10. Although Moore is now to his left, trying to come back into the top 10. Harry Moore trying to go through. Sprout is holding him to his line. Watch out, 
out, boys. You've got the five on the inside. And that's very close indeed. And through has gone the five. Past them both. Chris Whitten has moved up two places there in one sitting. Champion last year. He's finding out it's uh, easier to win the championship than hold on to it. He's in some right battles. He lost two places there going through Billy's blind into the S's. And that looks like is that Let's up to third yes. place it is. Yeah, Let's has got past Stockford. So he's now into third position. So Virko leading. Whittingham second. And then, of course, we've got uh, Stephen Letts in third position trying to move forward. Fowler makes another overtaking move. That's on Bradley White. So now Fowler's up to P5. He's got time to do this, you know. He could get all the way to the front. Down into Billy's blind. Uh, he, he made the move once more. This is Hans Hairpin. That is Fowler on the seven. He's certainly close enough. He's the man with all the speed and the racecraft. He's come through the field, made lots of overtakes. Can he get the four carts in front of him? There's time is counting down. Ta time may run out for him. Stephen Letts there in third place. He's only thinking about the win. You can be sure of that because he only thinks about that. He's not thinking, you know what? Third place for the championship, pretty decent. He's looking at the 50 in front and the 11 in front of him. And he's thinking, I'm going to tick these two off sometime soon. Here comes, Here comes Let's is let's going go through go as winning. well. Let's go through as well. And this is opening the floodgates. Burko holds on to third position. Fowler is not able to make up an overtaking move there. Neither is uh, Joe Stockford. Stockford is now slipping back a little bit. Whittingham takes the lead. So Whittingham is now your race leader. So difficult to keep up. But Whittingham is your man in front. Let's in second. Uh, Stockford is still there in P4. Here comes Let's up the inside. Locking Brilliant. up ties. Oh, a bit of a bounce there is up the inside. Stockford tries to make the move. And look who's been rung out to try. Verco drops to the back of the field. Now that puts Fowler up into P4. Fowler's got a chance here. Bradley White trying to work his way through, but Fowler has now moved up nine places from the field. This is Fowler's absolute shining light. Absolutely brilliant. We've seen some great TKM races in the past, arguably, well, no, not arguably, the junior race at the TKM Festival, and that's coming up soon, by the way, a few years ago, 2013, the greatest kart race ever, and this one is competing for Last it. Last lap, here we go. Fowler's going to try and get a move done. Let's, he's defending incredibly early into the lap. Fowler is the fastest man on the track, but has he got enough space to get the move? Bradley White's moved up into third position. He's got Stockford and Fowler on the same move there. Up into P3. Great dive. So Let's is your leader, winning him second, and Bradley White is up to third position. Great work from White, this. Absolutely superb. Has he got time to get one more? I'm not sure. They've come through buttons into top bend. It's going to finish as that. But what a brilliant race. Absolutely cracking drive from Letts, who holds on to the win just in front of Whittingham. Third position for Bradley White. Amazing run for Stockford in fourth. Sam Fowler right up there in fifth position. Newman is sixth in front of Verco from Wadley, Rosser, and Sprout. 16 carts, six seconds at the flag. That's TKM Extreme. Stephen, just talk us through that race. That was absolutely fantastic. You had to come from behind, but uh, what a victory in the end. Yeah, I mean, the start was very poor, to be honest. Didn't go very well, and the whole race wasn't really going very well until the last sort of three, four minutes, and then suddenly we ended up in the lead, and I think there was two laps to go. Just started defending from there and ended up with the win, really. You've not been in Super 1 for a few years. You've come back this year and, and you're looking like you're absolutely on top form. Uh, it's all going your way at the moment. Can you maintain it for the rest of the season? Uh, well, hopefully. I mean, every run we're doing, we seem to extend the lead, but it's a little amount of points every time. But the consistency has been really good so far. Uh, so hopefully just can maintain that. We don't have to win every race, just keep consistent. So who do you want to thank for your success this weekend? Uh, Dave Litchfield has been really good, to be honest. Uh, the motors have been very good. Um, Jono has been also very good. Just everyone at Literal Motorsport really and my dad. And yeah. Great fight back for Let's to win and extend the lead in the championship to Simon Verko. Matthew Taylor, Sam Fowler and Adam Sparrow all in the top five at this stage in the championship. There's plenty more racing still to go for them all. More after the break.